name is Bob Mason from FX Empire and welcome to the daily crypto tech review of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and Ripple's XRP. We'll be looking at the MACDs, the moving averages, the day's support resistance and pivot levels and the Fibonacci's. It is Tuesday the 28th of September. Jumping straight into Bitcoin against the US dollar, looking at hourly candlesticks, relatively positive start to the day. Going to see Bitcoin move through the pivot at 42.891 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 43.646. Bitcoin would need plenty of support from the broader market to break out from 43,500 levels. So barring an extended rally on, I expect that first major resistance level. And yesterday's high at 44,356 to cap any upside. In the event of an extended rally, should see Bitcoin target the second major resistance level at 45,112 before any pullback. Better to move through the pivot would bring the 38.2% fib at 41,592 and the first major support level at 41.45 into play. Barring an extended surf on the day, Bitcoin should avoid sub 40s. Second major support level 46.70 should limit the downside. Looking at the MACD's widening of the bearish histogram at the turn of the day, that's coming off the back of yesterday's late sell off. On the EMAs, also bearish signal 50 pulling back from the 100 and the 200. So look out for a further pullback that would pressure Bitcoin early on. So key would be to move through the pivot at 42.891 and back through to 43,500 levels to bring resistance levels into play. Failure to do that, and support levels will be in play. Moving across to Ethereum against US dollar, relatively positive start to the day. Going to see Ethereum move through the pivot at 3,006 to bring the first major resistance level at 3,087 into play. Support will be needed for Ethereum to break out from 3050 levels, however. So barring an extended rally on day, expect that first major resistance level. And yesterday's high, at 3168.03 to cap any upside. In the event of an extended rally, should see Ethereum target the 23.6% FIB at 3369 before any pullback. Second major resistance level is at 3249. Failure to move through the pivot will bring the first major support level at 2844 into play. Barring an extended sell on the day, Ethereum should avoid sub 2700 levels. Second major support level at 2763 and the 38.2% FIB at 2740 should limit the downside. Looking at the MACDs, slight narrowing of the bearish histogram at the turn of the day, but no signs of a bullish cross. So keep an eye on that. On the EMA, we're also seeing the 50 close in on the 100 and pull back from the 200. So look out for a bearish cross there that would deliver further downside. So key would be to move through the pivot at 3006 and back through to 3050 levels to bring resistance levels into play. Failures to do that. And support levels will be in play. Across the Litecoin against the US dollar, also positive start. Going to see Litecoin move through the pivot at 148 to take a run at the first major resistance at 152. Support's going to be needed for Litecoin's break back through to 150s. So, barring an extended rally on the day, expect the first major resistance level. And yesterday's high at 154.97 to cap any upside. In the event of an extended rally, should see Litecoin target 160 before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 158. Failure to move through the pivot will bring the first major support at 142 into play. Barring an extended sell-off on the day, Litecoin should avoid sub-140 support levels. Second major support level sits at 138. Looking at the MACDs, slight narrowing of the bearish histograms at the turn of the day, but again, no signs of a bullish cross, so keep an eye on that. On the EMAs, that's a bearish signal, 50 pulling back from the 100 and the 200, signaling further downside ahead. So key would be to move... Through the pivot at 148 and back through to 150s to bring resistance levels into play. Failures to do that and support levels will be in play. Finally, looking at Ripple's XRP against the US dollar, positive start. Going to see Ripple's XRP move through the pivot at 9415 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 9626. Support will be needed for Ripple's XRP to break out from 0.95 levels. So, barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level. And yesterday's high at 98166 to cap the upside. In the event of an extended rally, we've got the second major resistance level at 1.0028 to cap the upside on the day. Failure to move through the pivot will bring the first major support level at 9013 into play. Barring an extended sell off on the day, Ripple's XRP should avoid the 23.6% FIB at 8533. Second major support level at 8802 should limit the downside. Looking at the MACDs, again, slight narrowing of the bearish histograms at the turn of the day, but no signs of a bullish cross as yet so keep an eye on that on the emas that's a bearish signal 50 pulling back from the 100 and the 200 so look out for a further pullback that would pressure ripples xrp so key would be to move 
through the pivot at 9415 and back through to 0.95 levels to bring resistance levels into play. Failures to do that and support levels will be in play.